we heard CES unveiled. Unveiled. That's a Pico chip. Yes. Good afternoon. So Pico chip, we make the technology for these new devices called femtoseconds. Yes. Anyone who nowadays we all use mobile phones. We use mobile phones everywhere. But sometimes, and it's unfortunately quite common, you can't get coverage, you can't get a signal. What a femtocell is, is it is a small base station, just like a Wi-Fi box, that plugs into broadband and it gives you perfect 3G coverage, screaming fast data, voice coverage, very easily. It works with every phone and very easy to use, you just plug it in. So right now this one says Alcatel Lucent, are you producing uh, for uh, different companies or...? Yeah, so we, PicoChip, make the chip, make the technology which is used by nearly all of the Femto cells available today. Nearly all. Nearly all. And we sell to companies like Alcatel Lucent, Sargem, IP Access, Ubiquitous. They use our technology and then they sell to the operators. So Alcatel Lucent sells to Vodafone. So there you have your chip there and what is our audit? What is sure. that? So this is actually a development board. So there are some Small additional, ones. a real system would be quite a lot smaller. Half the size. Uh, about half the size. But what we have here, we have the radio, because of course it must talk to the handset. So you have a 3G radio. We have our chip, which does all of the processing. So that is a complete 3G base station. Uh, Node B and RNC in one chip. Ethernet that connects to your broadband. And power supply, memory. And you have a SIM card here? Optionally, you can have a SIM card if you want it. And uh, the SIM card is uh, for special features? The SIM card does two things. One of the things you can use it for is security. SIM cards are very, very secure and operators trust them. So it's a very good way of locking the Femto cell. There are other techniques, but some operators like that. The other nice thing about a SIM card is it has a phone number and it has its own billing relationship. So you can use the SIM card as sort of the master for uh, a femto cell. So for example, you could use the phone number, I could ring the femto cell, and then every mobile phone in the home will ring and you have replaced the need for a fixed phone line for your house. So how much can it cost, like a femto cell? How cheap can it be? Um, to the customer? Uh, for example, yeah, to the customer or to the telco who wants to buy um, 100,000 pieces? To a telco, a manufacturing price, the magic number everyone is talking about is about $100. $100? Yeah. That's the goal? That's the goal. Yeah, so yeah. in volume, it it's, it's yeah. possible, yes. And uh, so you have this chip, does it work only for 3G or could you have like, uh, could you do like uh, white spaces, WiMAX, something else? Over here? We do, Pico chip, we do make Fento cells for other standards. So our, the most important is 3G, but we do also have chips for WiMAX, for GSM, for TDS CDMA in China, yeah. and very, very importantly, for LTE. LTE. And it's worth talking about that a little bit. The world is moving to LTE, yeah. and small cells become incredibly important yeah. for LTE, uh -huh. because just high data rates is the whole point of LTE. Yeah. High data rates will not travel long distances. You need lots of small, dense cells, but you, femto cells. But you cannot install them without the accord of the telecom carriers. Right? That is correct. They have to yeah. say okay. They have and to. They have to be interested because, in, in the system. Because a femto cell is talking to a normal handset, yeah. it is on the carrier's yeah. spectrum. And, and what do you think about white spaces? I think white space is a great idea, and we're, we're talking to a few people. It could happen. With it this could happen. Well. With this happen as well. That yeah. could be a way for Google or whoever wants to implement it all over the city that they could kind of like use Fento cells. Yes. And because Fento, the nice thing about whatever the technology you're talking about, what Fento cells do is they give you a very cheap, easy to deploy way of delivering coverage where you need it. So it's a very good way of solving that problem. And that's true of. Whatever air interface, whatever spectrum you're talking about. interference and you downscale the frequency?
frequency for exactly. you on, on demand automatically? We have, we have customers doing femtocells at 2.6 gigahertz, 2.3, 2.1, and 900 megahertz. 450 megahertz. Automatically. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.